Have you ever wondered what the worst advice is for buying a house in Los Angeles? It is shocking how much bad advice is out there. Hi, my name is Matthias and I'm your trusted Los Angeles real estate agent. Today, we are going to talk about the bad advice you should avoid when buying a house in Los Angeles. Buying a house, it's a huge decision and getting the wrong advice can cost you big time. In this video, we'll dive into some common but terrible advice that can lead you astray. Stay tuned and let's dive right in. One of the biggest mistakes is saying, I don't want to pay too much. Let me explain. If you lose a house over a few thousand dollars in multiple offers, it becomes a comparable sale for the next home you want in that neighborhood. So you may end up paying even more the next time around. So don't get hung up on small differences. Imagine finding your dream home and losing it because someone else bid slightly higher. The next homes that comes on the market should sell for even more. In a competitive market, a few thousand dollars may not be worth a fight. Secure the home you love and do so when you have the opportunity. Another bad piece of advice is to wait for the market to crash. No one can time the market. And while you wait, you could be missing out on great opportunities. The market might not crash as you expect. And instead, prices could keep going up. It's better to act when you find a home that fits your needs and budget. The truth is, no one has a crystal ball. Real estate markets are influenced by many factors and predicting a crash is nearly impossible. While you're waiting, you're also missing out on building equity and enjoying your new home. As I said, it's better to make a move when you find the property that fits your needs and financial situation rather than wait around and hope. Focusing too much on interest rates is another mistake. Interest rates can change and you can always refinance later. The important thing is finding a home that works for you. While it's smart to consider interest rates, they shouldn't be the only factor. Interest rates fluctuate. And as Warren Buffett said, who controls interest rates, controls the world. And since you and I don't control the world, our best option is to adapt rather than sitting around and waiting for something to happen. Overlooking up and coming neighborhoods is also a bad advice. These areas might not be your typical choice but they can offer great value. Plus, they often appreciate faster than established neighborhoods. You might find a hidden gem that turns out to be a fantastic investment. Up and coming neighborhoods often have a lot to offer. You might find a lower price, newer developments, and a sense of community. As these neighborhoods grow, property values can increase, offering a great return on your investment. It's worth considering these areas instead of sticking only to well-known neighborhoods. I can't tell you how many neighborhoods in Los Angeles I have seen transform over the last 25 years. Areas that were unmentionables are now hot or up and coming, so keep your eyes open. Another common mistake is not working with a buyer agent. A good buyer agent understands the market and can help you navigate the process. They can negotiate better deals and protect your interest. A buyer agent has your back. They also handle negotiations, which can save you money and stress. Skipping this step means missing out on valuable expertise. Doing anything before ensuring your finances are in order is a huge mistake. You need to have your funds secure or be pre-approved with a lender. 
a good agent can guide you through this process and help you get your finances sorted. Having your finances in order shows the seller you are serious and ready to buy. It's also a mistake to work with anyone who thinks real estate transactions are adversarial. Both parties have a mutual goal. It's important to foster cooperation. Stay away from agents who fight for you. They'll fight their way right out of the escrow. A collaborative approach often leads to better results for everyone involved. The goal is to find the solution that works for both the buyer and the seller. Buying a house is a significant investment. Avoid these common mistakes and you'll be on your way to making a smart purchase. Thanks for sticking around to the end. Now here's a special tip for you. Did you know that in some Los Angeles areas, did you know that in some Los Angeles neighborhoods, buying a fixer upper is not as daunting as it sounds? Homes that need a little TLC are often overlooked by buyers, especially those that are known as cosmetic fixers. Replacing the floor and painting is not that big of a deal. I am not suggesting embarking on a complete renovation if you don't know what you're doing. But making small fixes here and there can be very rewarding. And the right agent can help you make that happen. With some renovations, you can significantly increase the property's value. This strategy is particularly useful in hot markets where fully renovated homes are priced sky high. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more real estate tips. If you have any questions or need personalized advice, feel free to reach out to me. If I don't hear from you sooner, I will see you in the next video. Until next time, don't forget to explore boldly and live passionately in LA.